Welcome back to another episode of Master the Art of Music Creation Remix at avidblocks.com. Today I will show you how to create beats with Pro Tools and some great virtual instruments and plugins. In the first episodes I prepared the original Pro Tools session with some of the recordings of the band The Arrows. I changed the tempo of the vocals and the drums in order to create a remix of the song. Then I created the synth element by using virtual instruments from Yuhi and Air. Today it's time to start working on the beat. So let's start with some basic stuff like claps, snare and crash. The first instrument I will use for this is Battery 4 from Native Instruments. I love the Arena kit as it has some really nice snares and claps with a lot of punch. I will also use the crash and the reverse crash from this kit. Let's record a basic pattern. My little mini keyboard here is just fine for that. When a track in Pro Tools is selected, I can also record enable that track by using the shortcut Shift plus R. I can hit 3 on my numeric keyboard to start recording. In previous episodes I used the event operations menu in order to edit my MIDI recordings. Today I'd like to show you a different way to do this by using the MIDI real-time properties. I set quantize to 8th, which will fix my timing issues. You don't need to do this if you work with input quantize enabled, a setting I covered in the second episodes of this series. So to recap the different options, input quantize will quantize while recording to the value set in the event operations window. The quantize option in the event operation menu will only apply on selected clips, while the real-time properties are track-based. You can choose what fits best for your workflow or combine them as you need them. Let's move on and program some hi-hats. I could use battery 4 for this, but let me show you the UVI workstation. The Plug Sound Pro library is an award-winning library that I'm going to use for some hi-hats. But believe me, there's so much more in this library than just hi-hats. This time I'll draw the notes into the MIDI editor. I like using the pencil tool for this as it creates an eighth hi-hat just by drawing a line on the appropriate MIDI note. On a second UVI workstation I've loaded the Beast Box. It offers some very unique drum sounds like this here. I like the clap sound and also this effect sound. Let's continue and add some loops to that. I used Elastic Time before in order to change the tempo of the original vocal tracks and drums. Now I will use this feature in order to preview a loop library in sync with my session tempo. Let me show how to do this. So first open the workspace browser. Then make sure the Elastic Time engine is enabled. Now you can play back your session and preview your loops. I like that loop. In order to import it into my edit window, I simply drag and drop it. Pro Tools will automatically create a new track that is named by the original loop. 
It also enables elastic time on the track so that the loop sits perfectly on my session tempo grid. I can now simply duplicate the clip several times by using the shortcut Command plus D. Now it's time for the most important instrument in dance music, the kick drum. Instead of starting from scratch, I will take a kick drum from a recent production that worked very well. I use the import session data command for that and just select the kick track to be imported. I also make sure that all of the inserts on that track will also be imported. The only problem now is that the other song had a different tempo. But I will fix that quickly by just selecting one kick using tap to transient and the shift key. Then trim the clip with command plus T, extend the selection to one beat, duplicate that a couple of times and consolidate this to a new audio file using the consolidate command or just the shortcut option plus shift plus three. Now a new audio file has been created and placed into my current session folder. As elastic time is enabled on that kick track, I can even use the elastic properties in order to tune that kick to the current song. So as you can see, all the plugins with their settings have been imported along the playlist. Again, I use the channel strip to aggressively cut out some frequencies. I'm also using the native instrument Transient Master for a nice attack. For outro and intro parts, I like to cut out the bottom end of the kick drum. For that I'm going to use Audio Suite plugins that are basically the same plugins you find in the plugin list within the Pro Tools mixer. The difference is that they are rendered onto a selected clip, as opposed to processing in real time in the Pro Tools mixer. I use them in combination with the window configuration feature of Pro Tools. This way I can quickly and easily recall my favorite Audio Suite plugins and I can also store different presets. Look, here's my low cut preset using the Pro Tools Equalizer 1. And just with a mouse click I can recall my high cut setting. With clip gain I can bring this clip a little bit up after processing. So here's a clap clip which is fairly static. Let's make it a bit more interesting. I will add a little reverb tail on just some of the claps by using Dverb, one of the Pro Tools plugins. If I change the setting, but then need to get back to the original, I can just recall it from the window configuration. Love it. With clip gain, I can now adjust the level of this reverb tail and then copy it to another position within the clip. Last but not least, I use the Reverse Audio Suite plugin and again using Clip Gain to adjust the levels. The previous clip is now much more interesting. Again, I can consolidate this to a 4 bar clip that makes it easier when it comes to arranging the track. To show and hide the clip gain line, just use the right mouse click menu or the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus question mark. In the next episode, I will use Native Instruments Affirmate and ReFX Nexus in order to create the bass for this remix. I will also show you how to integrate bass and kick into the mix by using AX plugins. So thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.